Hey guys, it is Danny, and I'm here with updates on the tropics we have or tropical storm epsilon to talk about, as well as that disturbance that is highlighted in yellow in the northwestern Caribbean that has been sparking some concerns for quite a while now. And so this update will be for these two tropical systems. And so guys, before I go into the details with these tropical systems here, please do subscribe if you haven't and tap the bell so you know every time when I post a new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right through the the seas and you can also follow me on instagram my weather account is weather girl danny and my personal account is danny henry official okay guys so first we want to take a look at epsilon and so there we have it on satellite view the storm is not looking very very organized at this time but it is expected to strengthen during the next couple of days and so we're expecting it to look a lot better more symmetrical and defined as a tropical cyclone and we're expecting that this will in fact become a hurricane and now to the national hurricane center's cone forecast and so as of now epsilon has sustained winds of 45 miles per hour and it is moving to the east northeast East at around three miles per hour so moving very very slow but of course it's going to be accelerated much quicker as we approach um the weekend to early next week right there and so fortunately the system is not going to be moving directly over bermuda but it is probably going to be pretty um large in size so it could still affect the island bringing some inclement weather conditions so if you're there you want to be cautious of that and now we want to take a look at what the models are expecting its intensity to be and so we have most of our models here expecting that this will definitely become a category one hurricane one of this time expecting it to achieve cat two status which is not impossible so fortunately aside from bermuda this is not going to be a threat to land guys and now let us go to that caribbean disturbance and so at this time the chance is low at 10% for development guys but it is still going to be a significant rainmaker for portions of the northwestern Caribbean and so the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba and the Yucatan could experience some locally heavy rainfall during the next couple of days as the system is going to be loitering in that vicinity and even here in Jamaica yesterday there was there was um, a lot of flooding in some areas due to the heavy rainfall from this tropical system so it is not expected to develop due to unfavorable conditions but regardless it's still going to be a significant rainmaker guys and now let's take a look at the satellite view of the North Atlantic Basin right now and so there we have a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity in the Caribbean and also extended up to um, Florida right there and also so there we have our tropical storm epsilon and we have no other tropical disturbances to watch at this time guys and so guys that is really it for this update and so if you found this video to be pretty informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share thoughts with me in the comments or ask questions i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise now keep giving all the necessary updates on the tropics as time goes by